Okay, this is the recap video for last week's class on Thursday, where we looked at sword and sword and dagger, and we went over the variation of the attacks, meaning the two-person form focusing on the patient. So we're going to see a few differences with what we did in the defense section, because we're dealing with a slightly different context. Context being we're actually fencing with somebody now, so some of the choices some of the follow-ons would be slightly different. So I'm going to show the full form first, and then show some of the differences and explain why those are there. So first I'm going to start in Corona Strata, right tail, right forward. The tag we're dealing with is going to be a mandrito of any kind. I'm going to use face cards, I'm going to extend out, step towards the attack, and leave with a three back so this is a little different than normal where we are defending and then we keep going forward because we have the advantage that was a real attack it was fully committed whereas here because they're probing us I may need to take a step back kind of see what they're gonna do so from here so we've done our face guard and leave. Our next attack is going to be an imbrocata, the number nine, right down the center. So here we're just going to get against something slightly different. And I want to beat with my mezzo mandrito, so so far so good. Here, instead of going all the way around with a tondo, I'm going to use a reverso tondo and then come back to Corona Strata. So let's see if I get from the other side. So here, Imbrocata comes in, beat with the number three, cut with a four, press a six, and then throw a four to bring us back to long tail. So together that gives us one and two. So back initial guard. So now from here, we're going to be dealing with an attack, a mandrito in this case, to the inner thigh of our right leg. We're using the false edge, beat and cut, and do it again. And this will bring us to iron gate. So steps one, two, and three are face guard, leave, mezzo mandrito, back to guard, false edge defense, cut and cut. This brings us to Iron Gate. We're gonna get a reversal to the high line. Beat, come up, thrust down. And now we're gonna end up in high Iron Gate, Porta di Ferro Alta, a position we don't often come to. So in here, I'm gonna be dealing with a Stoccata, number 10, to my outside. I'm going to reach out and step back to Chingale. So those five parts again from the top. Madrito, I use face guard. Against the Nicocata, Mezzo Madrito, Rivera Sotondo, Rivera Solimbro, against a cut to the leg, Fama Sodrito, Stramazzoli 1, Stramazzoli 2, Riverso, Mezzo Riverso, Ridopio, Imbrocata, Stramazzone, against the Stoccata, Entry Guard, and leave with a Stramazzone, bringing us to 104. So that's what we did with the sword in one hand. That's what we have. Here is us in sword and dagger the entire form. So as you see in the form, this is much shorter, but it also has more information because every step, or almost every step, is, has two parts. So part one, we are going to be in Colombo Strata. The first act is going to be a Punta Riversa to our head, so we're going to stop that in place. A Riversa comes to our leg, transition our dagger here, Stramazzone to the hand with Cinghiale and Testa. Next up is they're going to feint 
a stoccata to the outside. We're going to reach out. It turns into a mandrito to the inside. I transition to base guard with that step and finish with a stance only because of where the sword and dagger are. I need to get around that. And then number two, the reverse stance will not allow me to do that. So now we're at Iron Gate. The first action is going to be, it looks like it's a high line attack to my outside, but it turns out it's a reverso to my thigh. So I throw my own reverso as I go back. That brings us to Corimunda Alta. Now from here, we looked at a mandrito to the left leg. So I'm going to defend with the point down, thrust, cut, and come up to unicorn on the right. And then we're going to be dealing with a punta y falso. So I'm going to start transitioning my hand up as I cut down. Head on up to unicorn with the left foot forward. Whatever comes in, I'm going to clear to my inside, thrust, cut, back to the beginning. We'll do that one more time, continuously. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And those are the the actions for the sword and dagger, the variation of the guards.